Hello everyone. So right now we will learn the other terms in soil science. So there are three mechanism of addition and transformation of the soil, which include the following. First is the enrichment. This is the general term for a addition of any materials to the soil body. Second is the millenization. This is the admixing of organic matter to mineral matter which darken the soil. Third is the cumulization. This is the addition of mineral matter through wind and water to the soil body. In addition, we have mechanism of translocation in the soil which include the following. First is the elevation. General term for the movement of soil material from one part of the soil to another resulting in the formation of argillic clay layers. Second is the calcification, the transfer and accumulation of calcium carbonate in particular soil horizon. Number three is the decalcification. The removal of calcium carbonate from the soil horizon. Basically guys, si calcification and decalcification is inversely related. Number 4 is the salinization. The accumulation of soluble salts of sulfates and chlorides of calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. And also opposite of desalinization. 5. Is the alkalinization, accumulation of sodium ions, and also opposite of the alkalinization. Six is the podzolization, the translocation of aluminum and iron and or organic matter, thus concentrating the silica in the leach layer. 7 is the laterization. This is the transfer of silica from the solum, thus concentrating the aluminum and iron oxide and sesquioxide in the leach layer. Number 8 is the leucinization, the paling or loss of dark color of the soil due to the removal of organic matter from the solum of the soil. The last one is the lisivage or lisivage. Well, I don't know how to pronounce this. But this is the specific term for the movement of fine mineral particles from the topsoil resulting in the enrichment of clay on the lower horizon. So, what is buffering capacity? Buffering capacity is defined as the capacity of the soil to resist the drastic changing of its pH. Meaning guys, the more na mataas yung buffering capacity ng lupa, this is a good indication. Naging good indication si high buffering capacity kasi the more na mas mataas yung buffering capacity ng lupa, the more na mas mataas yung soil resistance sa drastic changing of its pH. So, that's all for today guys. Hoping na may na-learn kayo sa ating video. And please subscribe na din sa ating channel. At para ma-update pa kayo sa mga susunod natin na video. So, aralan ng aral guys. And kaya natin to. Maraming salamat. God bless.